Greetings, Earthlings! My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, here we are, the uh, finished drone, uh, though not quite, because I'll explain in a second. But yes, this is the final drone design. I've uh, got a uh, a paint job on it as well. So uh, the left hand and right hand side, the port and star, but basically the sides, when facing front and upright, um, are red, are dark red. A kind of, uh, if you want to find out what the uh, value is uh, hue zero saturation 15 value minus 16 that's the color I'm using and then we have a stripe all the way down the middle of the ship which is just the default black which is not true black true black would be this but you've got no texture on it so um, yeah that's not the best uh, so that's reverted to normal good I don't know what I just pressed right uh, yeah so we've got our drone working uh, we now just need to give it some ammo, which I will queue up. The only problem is that the way of controlling it requires us to... Well, I couldn't get the laser antennas to auto-reconnect um, when one of the antennas goes down. They can't auto-reconnect to the same one. Uh, which means that I would have to place even more laser antennas, and currently the those resources are not available to me. Uh, where was I going with this? I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, I'll, I'll remember it later, possibly. Ah, oh, no, missiles, curing up missiles, that's what it was. Yeah, told you I'll remember it. Production, uh, we got stuff here. Uh, missiles, uh, sweet, uh, so that uses uranium and magnesium. Okay, uh, refinery, what do we have? got some cobalt now I got some of that uh, we've basically done all the heavy armor I've got 32 magnesium so um, we don't have that much magnesium so we're gonna have to spend it all on uh, missiles um, the other question being how much iron 2.8 and what's the other one nickel yeah we've got nickel we've got cobalt okay that that should be enough we've got iron we've got nickel we've got silicon we don't have any uranium spare uh, give me a second uh, cargo and then refinery no no not refinery reactor and we'll, uh, we'll we'll just throw in 20 here because I don't know why the assemblers are set to use it but they are uh, so we've got a mining uh, well we did have a mining hall at, uh, somewhere nearby it's actually quite a large ship and its reinforcements that it will call in um, they deal quite a bit of damage uh, I know this from not so previous experience, but looking it up on the wiki, as one does. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to engage any military dudes or like large dudes uh, for a while. So since the laser antennas won't work properly, I'm going to have to get rid of them. And instead, we're going to use a mod, which I've installed. Uh, just waiting for this to turn up. And it is the uh, small antenna, because the regular antenna is Mahusiv, if you will uh, have a look. That's how big the small antenna is. I don't think it's going to fit inside my craft. Uh, I'll do balancing to make sure that the antenna being used uh, isn't actually, you know, taking up a lot of... Well, it isn't... It's not got a massive range, uh, so instead it's going to have something else. Uh, which means I have to go back into the... Uh, into the inner workings of this there's some uh, light armor blocks somewhere which are placeholders for any other things that I might want to add such as this and I have to get rid of the laser antennas we are going to use laser antennas later we'll probably have one on our command ship and then one on a relay satellite or like the a relay base for this ship or like the drone carrier which in its itself is a drone but that's to come later so I'll be back in a second once I have uh, reconfigured the ship to run on antennas instead of lasers. Okay, we are done with the retrofit. So, uh, what I've done is I've removed all of the laser antennas off of the attack drone and replaced them with heavy steel tube. And then inside, if you can see that marker, we have a small antenna, which is on the something side, because I can't tell which way's up. Uh, it's on the starboard side of the ship. Uh, that's good. And I've also installed a small antenna on the private sail so that that can also broadcast, which means that I can access the ship 
uh, even though I'm at least 200 meters away from it because your regular radio only transmits 200 meters. So, uh, oh, and I've also added a landing gear so I can transport this thing when I need to. Uh, so the next uh, bit to do is uh, to find a way um, of doing this properly. So we need to think of a plan. So we bring this private cell along. Yeah, the private cell going about its business. We spot a uh, enemy ship. Okay, this drone is attached to this landing gear facing this way, uh, with its uh, inertia dampeners off. Uh, once we have spotted a target, um, the private cell is to uh, come to a halt, detach the drone and then we take control of the drone and move in to take out any resistance. The targets are turrets and um, other drones. Uh, what's this? Uh, that's a military mine layer. Um, yeah, that's also got some pretty nasty stuff attached to it, but that's fine. We're not going after it. Uh, so then the drone will take out any defenses and then once those defenses, uh, exterior defenses have been taken out, it will then activate its inertia dampeners and then stop moving. Uh, since we've got a broadcast radius of 10 kilometers, we'll, e we'll be easily able to find it unless, you know, we spend the night on the ship that we're stealing um, without turning off the engines or turning on the engines rather. Um, and then the last, uh, the last thing that we do is we bring over the private cell, which we have been in all this time. Um, Yes, that's a pr uh, yeah. So uh, once the drone has dealt the damage, we then um, tell him to stop moving. We then get the private sail. We um, we dock the private sail onto the enemy ship using the landing gear, and then slow it down using our inertia dampeners. This means that any booby traps, such as um, thrusters attached to warheads, won't activate because we're the one slowing it down, not the other one. This may take a while due to we've only got one small thruster in one direction that that's not going to be efficient of slowing down a capital ship but it will slow it down uh, once we're attached to it um, I'll probably also reactivate the attack drone and guard it just in case uh, another ship tends to show up um, and before the engagement what we do with the private sail is we uh, try and match velocities with the target and stay out of um, intercept range. So out of the range at which drones will spawn. And then we get in our drone, we go down, we start attacking, um, job's good. Uh, we just need to, and also keep the uh, Gatling gun active whilst we're controlling the, uh, whilst we're attacking, so that any drones that start attacking the private sail, they'll get roasted by the uh, the Gatling gun, you know, if they're not on the bottom of the ship. We should really add another Gatling gun onto the bottom, um, but that will be later. Uh, so now that all of this is working, uh, we just need to find a target. So uh, let's get into the private sail. Yeah, we're in a private sail, that's good. I'm just wondering, because whenever I get out of the private sail, the doors are always closed. It's weird. Does it like auto-close or something? Uh, right, so I want to set all of this to me, which it is. That's good. Uh, so I don't have to do any malarkey with that. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is attack drone alpha. Uh, we want to sh uh, hide um, the hidden blocks and go to the remote control and control it. It's remote control too because I had to uh, dismantle it and move it somewhere else. Uh, f ooh. This is interesting. Uh, I'll have to have a look at the um, the autopilot because that might be uh, a fun thing to do. Uh, but anyway, uh, control and then act. So we're now controlling. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I can't move the camera. That's going to be fun. So down is this way, up is uh, the other way. So we're actually roughly in the right orientation to do this. Uh, I, I, I just really, really need an external camera. I am not used to this. Because um, I really, really don't want to break anything. Right, now that we've done that. Yeah, now now that we've done that. Uh, stop controlling. You know what, it's actually going to be easier if we dock with the private sail. 
just saying it. It's going to be easier if we dock with the private sail. Um, at some point, if we get smaller landing gear, which will be kind of a waste of a mod slot, uh, we'll add smaller landing gear on the attack drone so that it can actually land. Um, because then we can use the attack drone to attack with as well. Um, yeah, so if I bring this along, then no, tilt this way. Yeah. Probably want to go this way actually. Uh, right, so we just need to get in line. Okay, proceed forward. And downwards. Getting there. Right, so uh, we just need to go back a bit and then we should be fine to dock. Good. Uh, now that the ship is docked, uh, what we have to do is we have to go to remote, uh, we have to go to remote control, um, control, inertia dampeners off. Okay, so now if we move, uh, you you won't see any of the drones engines activating. Okay, this is going to get fiddly, and apparently we're levitating, but um, that's that that's not fine. So I'm going to wait around until we find a decent target to uh, attack, and then uh, we'll take this for a spin. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back and we have spotted an enemy. Let's go check it out because uh, that's the fun way to do things. Uh, this may be called cheating. I call it uh, entertainment. The mining carriage. It is moving across the sector and we have spotted it. Um, I'm not going to do this as fast as possible. Well, I am going to do this as fast as possible. Looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Well, it's going to be mine soon. Uh, right, so let's deploy our uh, new weapon of mass. Um, no, not really mass, but mass uh, harassion. I can't even say that right. Uh, right, so we're going to deploy. We're going to move into the field if I can actually see a damn thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the acceleration. That's going to be better. Yeah. Go around like this. Control the drone, which has more thrusters, uh, and then use that instead. Uh, control uh, one angle, please. Thank you. And continue. Uh, what, what what just happened? Oh, we overloaded. Okay, that's going to be a problem. So the thing is, if we overload. Uh, we lose the camera. Uh, this is not going to be uh, this is not going to be useful at all because uh, in combat situations I may overload it and lose the camera. Um, well, uh, that means that we're going to have to redesign at some point, but not right now. We're moving in for the kill. Um, okay, just need to we just need to get behind it. As you can see, it's moving towards the right. I think. Uh, right, get out. Uh, we're heading this way, right? I just need to check if it's heading left or right. Saying towards the left. And there's an asteroid right there. Okay. Uh, go backing. No, no, don't do that. You idiot. Get back in the thing. You goddamn fool. Uh, controlling and camera. We need to head to the right. Attack train alpha. Remote control. Control. It does look like it's going towards the right, but it's actually going towards the left. But that's because how fast we're moving. Uh, right, so let's let's slow down. Turn on inertia dampeners and slow the hell down. Well, slow the private sail down, and then we're going to move in. We're nearly uh, at the range at which drones will start spawning in, and we don't want the private sail in range. Uh, so if we go back, private sail, your turret is now on. Please, for the love of God. Uh, target neutrals off. Target stations off. Characters off. Large ships, small ships, missiles, 
moving targets. Um, right, so this shouldn't cause any friendly fire. If it does, then we're going to have a problem. Disconnecting, going up a bit, activate inertia dampeners, and let's control the, uh, the attack drone. Right. This is a tank drone. We are moving into position. We're going to use an, an uh, we're going to disable inertia dampeners for most of it because I need to make sure I don't uh, waste too much power. Um, I I need to add more reactors to this. Really, um, that's that that's the next step because there is some room inside for more reactors. Okay, we're moving in. Uh, I think we have our uh, our vectors locked. Though it it it, it oh, damn it, uh, <laughs> uh, it is moving at twenty five meters a second according to the wiki. Though the wiki can lie, uh, we just need to make sure that that Gatling gun doesn't take out our missiles. Because if it does, then well, we don't have any weapons more. Well, we don't have any more weapons, and we have to do kamikaze into the thing to be able to capture it. Uh, we are entering the three kilometer mark now. Uh, the, the three kilometer mark is where the drones will start spawning in. They will spawn three kilometers away from the player. That's the important thing. Um, quick question. Okay, right. We mustn't get um, a, a longer than ten kilometers. Otherwise, we're going to lose uh, lose the uh, mining carriage. Uh, just increasing velocity. Turning off for a second, so that I can get rid of some of our uh, lateral movement. Uh, move to the side. So, from the intelligence that I've received, uh, just flipping this around for you, uh, the Gatling turret will be able to fire us at six at six hundred, and it's going to be where that antenna is. If you see the antenna, um, yeah, see that. Just need to hit it. Oh, we got a, we got a direct hit. Take out that turret. There we go. Turret is down. Uh, activating inertia dampeners. Uh, oh, we have we have hostiles, don't we? We should have hostiles nearby. Where'd it go? Did it just... Where is it? Where is it? I've lost it. Where the hell did it go? You know, that's not fair if you pull the uh, the disappearing act on me. It was only going at 25 meters a second. I took out the Gatling turret. I took out the antenna. What else do you want? I call cheating. I call you use cheats. Uh, we are we have taken a bit of damage in our thruster, um, and some other thing uh, like our thruster mainly. Uh, so that's not too bad. But we lost the thing that we were trying to get. That's kind of ooh, this game, this game. Uh, right. So we're going to head back. Uh, we're going to head back wherever the hell the uh, the private sail is over this way. Right, we're going to head back to private sale and we're going to head back to base. Um, comment below if you realise where that thing has gone, because I'm quite pissed about it. Uh, pardon the language. I don't use that often. Well, I might do, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, that's, that, that's really annoying. Um, I might have destroyed the beacon which was telling me where it was, um, which would kind of be stupid. But uh, that's not good. So we're going to head back to base. Um, I'm going to turn off this so, so that you can see the uh, remains of the ship uh, like fly past. Uh, I need to get closer. 
So, uh, join us next episode uh, for some more carnage. Um, just a quick service announcement about next week. I am moving my uh, permanent residence to somewhere else, which means that um, the uh, video uploading of things uh, might not be as expected. Um, oh God, don't get in the flames. Uh, but it'll, it should only last a week, the disturbances. Um, that may be because my new place may not have Wi-Fi. Um, I might be a bit busy with moving in. But after that week, everything should go back to normal. I will try my best to make sure that I have um, content going out that week as well. That's next week, by the way, you know, in a few days' time. Um, Space Engineers, uh, regular survival, not this series, but the other one, which I finished on Tuesday. Um, there will be a new series of that in the same world, doing new things, using the equipment that I've already got. Uh, but that will be later. I think I've flown past the private sale, so that's kind of helping. Not. Yeah, I've, I've flown past the private sale. Good job. Um, yes. Slow down. So, uh, join us next time, where we will hopefully find some prey to uh, contact and kill and everything. Uh, until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission. <laughs>